Pastor Kurt. And we're from Seven Seas Ministries. And welcome to part two of The Prodigal Bride. Mm -hmm. So last week we <laughs> left off, uh, we had just started to talk about popularity. We really hadn't even discussed it much, but yeah. we said we were going to. Mm -hmm. So we'll pick up with that. So, um, you know, as we talked about last week, things can become idols in our lives mm -hmm. if, if they replace God right. or if we put them before God. Mm -hmm. And so we want to talk about popularity because popularity is also something that has replaced God mm -hmm. in a sense in many different ways in some of our lives, maybe to a little bit of a degree in all of our lives yes. at some point. So though popularity is something, whenever I think of popularity, I always think of teenagers yes. because <laughs> teenagers tend to thrive on being popular mm -hmm. and it's at that time in our lives where you know we can we can cross a certain point where popularity becomes so important mm -hmm. important to us that nothing else matters right and we want to make sure that in our own lives now as adults mm -hmm. as believers mm -hmm. that we don't worry about whether we're popular or not that's right and, and so why is that what why is being popular and worrying about being popular so dangerous? Mm -hmm. Well, because in order to be popular, we have to compromise. That's right. We have to compromise what we stand for so that people, they won't look at us funny. They won't think we're weirdos. Mm -hmm. you know, they won't think that we're freaks or whatever. And, and so we start to compromise the mm -hmm. things that we believe yes. and the things that we stand for. We want them to like us. So exactly. we watch them and see what they do a mm -hmm. lot of times yeah. so that we will fit in with them. We'll mm -hmm. take on some of their traits so right. that we can fit in with them and they'll exactly. like us. And now we're part of that. Right. You know, yeah. it's, it's not good. <laughs> no, it's not. And I always refer to that as kind of like being a chameleon. Yeah. You know, chameleons yes, right. blend in just about everywhere mm -hmm. they go. Mm -hmm. And so as believers, we should never just blend in. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that we have to purposely make ourselves stick out. We don't have to go around, you know, whacking people over the head with the Bible, but we need to make sure that we stand firm mm. on the truth of God's word mm -hmm. and those principles that God instills in us. Yes, and if right. God says something is wrong, we can't push that aside just to become popular. That's right. If God tells us there's something that we're supposed to do, we can't stop doing it just to become popular. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, if he tells us there's something that we shouldn't do, we, then we shouldn't do it. Right. We can't forsake that and go ahead and do it just to become popular. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're all at a different place with that. And, and at different points in our lives and maybe different points in our walk with God, that may or may not be an issue. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a, there's a musician that, that we went and listened to, oh, it was probably about a year ago now, maybe mm -hmm. like last February or something. And, and he was sharing how, before he sang one of his songs, he talked about how at one point in his life he had wrestled with addictions. Mm -hmm. And in the words of the song, it, it actually starts off talking about you try it one time just to fit in. Mm -hmm. And then the addiction is slowly setting in. Mm -hmm. And then the song goes on to talk about this and, and how he basically gave up his, his godly walk mm -hmm. to fit in with a crowd and became addicted to drugs because of it. Wow. And so... You know, popularity, even though it doesn't sound terrible, it can be a really bad thing because mm -hmm. pop, trying to be popular, striving to be popular, and then giving up our, our godly principles mm -hmm. and our walk with God to become popular can be deadly for our eternal destiny. That's right. It can be mm -hmm. deadly for our bodies because people can die from drug overdoses and, and alcoholic-related mm -hmm. stuff. It kills people. Right. And so not only does it does it mess with our destiny, but it can kill our physical mm -hmm. body as well. Right. So and, and even like with popularity, sometimes like say leadership, people mm -hmm. in leadership. Yeah. You know, they see another leader there doing you know. something else and they, they say, Oh, look at that, it looks like it's working for them. Mm -hmm. So we want to kind of mimic that or whatever. And yeah. we start to give up who we are and who God has made us and what That's He exactly has called right. us for to mm -hmm. kind of be like them. Yeah. And we just lose everything that God basically wanted us to do. Right. Because we're we're trying to be somebody else. Else. He yeah. didn't want somebody else. He wants us. Exactly right. So, you know, we need to be very careful about that as well. Yeah, we can't forfeit our identity, the, the person that we are in God, to be somebody else mm -hmm. because we like what we see. That's right. And you're right. That's that's a good 
a good point to touch on because we see it a lot, especially today in the times that we live in. Mm -hmm. It's more and more and more common for people to see somebody who's who's famous, you know, mm -hmm. they're they're a leader in the faith, mm -hmm. and the next thing you know, we're trying to emulate them. Mm -hmm. And we're surrendering who God made us, the gifts and the talents mm -hmm. that he gave us, mm -hmm. we're surrendering them. We're throwing them off to the side, mm -hmm. and we're saying, well, I want to be like him. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, there's, a, there's an element of cultism in that. Mm -hmm. And if we're not careful, we get drawn into something called a personality cult. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a, it's a thing that happens, a real thing where people get drawn to certain leaders, mm -hmm. certain figures, because they like their personality. Yes. You know, a person has a very, like a, a charismatic personality. And I don't mean charismatic in the spiritual sense. I mean charismatic in the sense that they draw people yes. to them. Mm -hmm. They're that, bubbly, happy-go-lucky. And they're, they're outgoing. outgoing. They yeah. say all the right things and do all the right mm -hmm. things, make all the right moves. And yeah. people... They're comfortable with that, so they, right. they, they tend to stray towards and that. And they get attracted to yes. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, it, it, and it can go even beyond the bubbly, you know, happy-go-lucky, fun person. It could be somebody who's mm -hmm. um, maybe very direct with their words, and yes. they're not afraid to hit something right. if they need to. Mm -hmm. And that appeals to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And the reason that it does is because most people aren't bold enough to take mm -hmm. that stand. And right. so they get attracted to that, and, and if we're not careful... We will try to emulate that person mm -hmm. and we will follow them and follow them and follow them mm -hmm. because we're addicted to mm -hmm. their personality. Right. And we'll learn all the little moves, mm -hmm. all the little things that and they the say. And oh, yes, and we'll become we'll become that person right. instead of being who God wants us to be. Exactly. You know, it's right. it's, it's a scary thing. And, yeah. and some of us, you know, some of us that may be involved in it right now. I mean, we really need to take a good look at ourselves. Am I doing that? Right, <laughs> because yeah. it, it's one of those things, like we talked in the other video, the enemy will creep in, mm -hmm. you know, very, very carefully, very slowly and, and very, yeah. you know, and, and he'll, he, we won't even realize we're doing it until somebody right. points it out and says, hey, you know, yeah, this is what's going on. Right. Do you see it? And it mm -hmm. just is like a, it's almost like a witness on the inside that says, yeah. oh, that just, that just bothered me when you said that. Well, check yeah. into it because right. if it bothered you when you when when we said that, mm -hmm. then there's probably something going on there, or you yeah. know somebody that's going through mm -hmm. it, and it's it's definitely something to pay attention to. Exactly. Yeah, because like you said, it can sneak in. Yes, it and, can sneak in, and, and it happens so mm -hmm. subtly, yeah. so slowly that we yes. don't know it's happened until sometimes years later. Very, very dangerous. Yeah, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, so we've we've talked. Quite a bit about the whole popularity mm -hmm. thing. So let's let's move on to the next thing, and this is one of the this is one of the last kind of bullet points that we'll talk about. But and this is this is a very hot button topic, and we didn't bring it up because you know we want to get more views on the videos. We brought it up. We're bringing this up because it's extremely important that we talk about it, and that is political correctness. Mm -hmm. Political correctness is more than just being kind with our words. Mm -hmm. Political correctness started probably about 20 or so years ago. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I was a kid, you never heard anybody talk about political correctness. It wasn't even a thing. It was just basically, you know, stuff is what it is. And, you know, you say it the way you see it. Mm -hmm. But, of course, you have to let the Holy Spirit temper, temper. the things right. that you say. Mm -hmm. But with political correctness, political correctness has has become an idol mm -hmm. in a lot of people's lives. It's all about politi being politically correct. Mm -hmm. It's all about making sure we say everything just, just a so. certain mm -hmm. way, just so, because we don't want to offend anybody. Mm -hmm. But it has, has reached the point of, of being a detriment. Mm. to the body of Christ. And I don't say that meaning that we are supposed to just start blurting out oh, whatever we think. Right. You know, right. everything that we say, every thought that we think, before it goes from here to here, mm. should be filtered through the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, being spiritually correct should replace being politically correct. There you go. Because political correctness mm, is good. is wreaking havoc mm -hmm. with societies yes, on a very is. large yes, scale. It and it's wreaking havoc with the bride, right. with the church. Mm. 
because it's reached a point where teachers and leaders and even lay people are becoming afraid to say anything. Yes. Number one, because they don't want to offend anybody. Mm -hmm. And number two, because politi political correctness has reached a pinnacle mm -hmm. to where people are becoming sued. They're getting sued because of things that they have said mm. or things that they have either done or refused to do mm. that political correctness doesn't line up with. Mm -hmm. And so we need to be very careful that God's word right. is not being replaced mm. with political correctness. That's right. Because if the Bible says something is so, mm -hmm. then it's so. We have to make sure that these, these things that we're seeing in cultures and in societies mm. today don't replace God's word no because God has the final say yes and God's word keeps us alive and it keeps us moving and it keeps us learning and it keeps us growing and if we're taking that out or, or you know we're soothing these things right. I would say right. we're like soothing these mm -hmm. these things that are coming in uh, mm -hmm. coming in through a person because we don't look at the person we look at what's behind right you know, we're not against the person that is... No, we should never stand against a person. It's 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 what's coming in through them. Mm -hmm. And when you see it as a leader, or, you know, you see it as a person, as a, as a child of God, and you see it in that person, you can't just sit there and look at it and start to begin to soothe it and say, oh, it's okay. Because right. that's what this political correctness is doing. It does, it's soothing yeah. it these. Pets, it it's saying, the, the oh, animal. oh, it's okay. You, you, you've you got that. You, you, Okay, we understand now. It's okay. You can you can behave like that. You can do what you want. That's okay. And we won't say anything. We're not going to yeah. say anything. Just bring it in. It's okay. The other people around you in the congregation, now they're going to have to understand and be um, okay with it, too. And they're going to have to deal with it, too. Okay? What does that lead us? Right. That's letting that thing that's in that person mm -hmm. take dominion. That's right. Over what exactly. God says mm -hmm. in his word. Mm -hmm. No, it right. doesn't happen that no. way. We have to stand together as the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. We have to stand together. Now help that person that has it. You want to help them that's right. walking in that, 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 that needs help. We're going to help them with right. the word of God. But we're not going to let them come in. Right. And change. We can't pander the to word those of God. things. That's right. right. We cannot do it. We cannot do it. It's, right. It'll cause havoc. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we have to see it for what it is and not that we go against the person as a whole, mm -hmm. the person, but right. as what that person is allowing to dominate inside of them, mm -hmm. we have to go after that. Right. And the right. Holy Spirit will give us the wisdom and mm -hmm. the discernment as to how to do it. Right. Don't give up. See, the thing is, we're just letting it come in and we're relaxing with it. It's okay because everybody's doing it and it, it's right. a new thing. No, it's not. It's not. Right. Yeah, this is not new. You know, this is this has been there. It's coming in and it maybe it, has a, a it has a different face it on a different it. Name, okay. And you know? everybody's like, okay, it's yeah. okay. It's it's this political correctness thing. Nope. nope. Not in God's house. Mm -hmm. It can't be. Right. Now there is a way to deal with it. And each individual person that comes in with it, there is a way to deal with it. And each one's different. It, they're going to be different. Right. And it is going to be work for leaders. And it is going to be work, you know, even help from the congregation to help them come up. Mm -hmm. Not keep them down. Don't keep stroking right. their head and right. comforting that. No way. Mm -hmm. That you will, you that will feed crush, the monster. That will crush. It, it'll crush yeah. everything that has been done right. there. It'll take right. over. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that are so important that we mm -hmm. need to pay attention to. Yep. The spirit that is behind these things is what's coming. What is trying to 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 kill and destroy? Right. Right. It's trying to take out mm -hmm. the church. It's trying to take right. out the bride. And right. it's doing a pretty good job it at is. this point. It is because over you know? the last fifty years, the bride. The bride has basically laid down on her back and, and surrendered. That's right. And, and there's a scripture that comes to mind when you were talking about the what's behind what we see. Mm -hmm. It's spiritual. Mm -hmm. and, and the scripture that comes to mind, I don't have the reference. I'll put it up on the screen. But it talks about the fact that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against powers and principalities and, and wickedness right. in high places. Yes. And so... On that note, we're going to wrap this video up yes. and we're going to finish this. <laughs> we, we did not intend to do three videos on this, but there's so much meat here. We don't want to try to cram it into mm. 
you know, one or two videos mm -hmm. and, and skip anything yes. or, or take away the time that we need to put into each topic. So, mm -hmm. so we, we ended with talking about uh, political correctness and how it has, it has, it was, it has seriously damaged the mm -hmm. church as a whole. Mm -hmm. it, has, it has damaged the bride, the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And it's time for us to put our foot down. And again, not in a way that lashes out at people, but we need to stand for truth. Yes. Truth is truth, and yes. God's word is truth, yes. and so we need to stand on that truth because that's the foundation that our faith is built on. Yes. Amen? Amen. 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 We're going to pray and wrap this up. Yes. Father, we thank you for your truth. Yes, thank you. We Lord. thank you, Father God, that your truth will set people free yes, if we let it. Because Jesus said that whom the, the, who the Son has set free is free indeed. And that the truth has come to set you free. But we need to understand that we need to embrace that truth if it is to set us free. So Father, help us to embrace it. Help us not to bristle up and push it away because it's uncomfortable or because it means that we may have to change something. But Father, help us to embrace the truth. The truth that sets us free. Father God, let us no longer pander to political correctness. Let us no longer worry about being popular. But in putting you first in everything that we do, that should be our concern. And thank you, Father God, for your word. We thank you, God, that your word sheds light on every dark thing. So we ask you to shine your light even upon our own lives, Father God, that we would see where we have stepped to the left or to the right, where we've slipped a little bit, maybe where we've fallen into one of these things. And Father God, help us to repent and turn it around. Give us the strength that we need to turn things around. And we will be oh so careful, God, to give you the glory for everything that you do. Yes. We praise you praise because you are you. above yes. all things. Yes, and we pray in the precious, yes. mighty, awesome name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So we hope you'll come back next week for yes. part three. We'll wrap mm -hmm. things up. And we hope that this has fed you, yes. that it has helped you to get some understanding in mm -hmm. some things, that you've enjoyed it. Yes. <laughs> and if you could share the video with others, we'd appreciate it. Yes. And Thank you. Until next week. You guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.